Topper machine on Josh Topper. So I'll have to like that a little intro. Um, this is a teaser of what we're going to be doing. Um, what we're doing today is we are making a crankshaft pulley adapter to a hydraulic pump drive. Um, so this is the original pulley and the pump drive just bolted to that, bolted right now flat. Well, the customer changed out the motor, and the motor uses a whole different pulley, different crankshaft, different pulley, same exact motor, same specs, everything's the same, but it's a different pulley. So, pulley is in exactly the same location on the motor for the belt lineup, but it's recessed, so we have to build an adapter to bring this out so that we can bolt this, this to it. So we're gonna take this piece of stock here that I already started uh, roughing out. We'll uh, turn that into one of these. So, right, so in order to measure this, I'm gonna just walk you through this real quick. You take your rule, you measure that, and that's about 740. And you take your caliper and just bring it down. And then you subtract the, the 740 from this measurement. And that gives us about 937 for a total depth. But we're gonna leave a little sticking up for a guide to drop that piece into. And we're gonna leave a little bit sticking out, a protrusion to line it up in the bottom too. Um, the customer brought me in a different pulley that drops in here and lines up perfectly, fits in there tightly so I can measure that. And then, uh, but we just needed our overall height. So let's head over to the lathe and get started. Okay, we're down to our finished length of inch and a quarter. Now we're going to turn our, our uh, little protrusion that is our alignment into our, our pulley, um, which is still over there. Um, so we'll turn that down. I'll, get, I'll measure that quick and then we'll turn it down. Eighth inch protrusion and then uh, to size. And then I'm going to have to switch out my jaws because I can't get deep enough with these jaws. I got to get some of my shallow soft jaws. To get in there far enough to do our all of our our stuff. Okay, so now we're going to turn this OD, leaving our little bit here um, to hold our center everything. 
turn that down to 4.437, and then I'll calculate out what we need to put that, that chamfer on there, what we need for an angle, and we'll turn that on there, and then we can do all the drilling. So let's get this face down to what I need, and then figure out that, that angle, cut that in, and then we'll uh, see how it fits. out quick where it needs to be roughly just so I didn't have to take so much when I set up the compound and come in on it. I also left a little bit of a taper here to keep a little more material and because there is room in that pulley it does contour down in so I'm gonna set up my compound first and clean that little bit up right there put a taper on that and then we'll measure out this angle I'll figure out what it is quick and then I'll cut that one in so let's get on that. So there it is, a perfect fit. I mean, that went on just slid right in there beautifully. No wobbling, nice and tight. Now we got to figure out our bolt pattern here and our bolt pattern here to make this all work. And it's it's going to be a fun one. Um, we're going to have to line them up apart from each other. It'll be fun. So. Let's, uh, let's see if I can figure this all out and we'll okay, get Okay, so now is an excellent time to talk about a product that I, I, I absolutely love. Um, I've used these quite a bit, I, I, I use them quite a bit. Um, so instead of calculating out this little bolt pattern here, I know that'll be difficult, um, but it's doable. I have, and, and generally, you know, if it weren't, if they weren't blind holes, we could just transfer punch that. We don't have the, we can't do that with this. So how do you transfer that? How do you transfer that pattern without um, spending the time calculating it out? There's, there's some tricks here. This is the trick. This is a transfer screw. And what it is, now this is the holder. And in here are these little bitty transfer punches that are threaded. And so I need four of them. So let's pull out four. I think there's seven in here. Five or seven. And put the little gnarled knob back on. This is the wrench for tightening them in. So you take them, you stick them in the hole, and you thread them in just enough we got to go a little further, and a little more. You want to just feel it. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's in there. So I'll go ahead and get the other three in there. And then what we do, we set this down in there, because it's piloted, it'll line up. Set it down in there, we'll take a dead blow hammer and just give it a whack, and that'll give us our four, four hole positions. So I'll get that done and then we'll start drilling them. Okay, 
that lines up beautifully. These bolts threaded right in, um, absolutely perfect. But for obvious reasons, this isn't going to work. So we need to counter bore for the head of this. And so I just do that with a, I've got a special uh, drill that I use. Um, it's actually milled so it fits. So we'll just drill them to counter bore them and uh, then we'll drill the other bolt pattern and we're done. All right, so my camera battery died there and I didn't get to show you the counter boring, but that's no big deal. You know how to do that. Um, so what we're doing now is we're gonna set up our digital readout and do a bolt circle. Um, we're a three and three quarter inch bolt circle on that. Now we need to figure out where center is and we could use that fancy coaxial indicator I have, or we can indicate off the back jaw, figure out, um, get our zero off the back jaw, take the diameter of the part, divide by two, and then come off the side and get our side there and then come in and get our zero. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now we're gonna program our bolt circle. So we go to bolt circle, center starting position, zero, diameter, 3.75, enter, starting angle. Uh, yeah, that might be right, zero. I guess I'll find out. Ending angle, we're doing four holes, so that would be 270. And there's hole six, we change that to four. And there we go. So that's our, that's our program right there, telling us where our positions are. So I'll get that set up and I'll start drilling. This guy, the drive drops in there, bolted in, and then it drops into the pulley. Just like that. That's, that's it. That's what he needed. Um, all in all, went pretty well. Um, no real hiccups. Biggest, biggest thing with this is uh, my setting up the camera to take these shots. Um, it's very time consuming, and, and, uh, but getting it just right for you guys was, was key. Um, you know, I've got two and a half hours into it at this point. So without all the camera angle set up and all the extra to go with that, um, I probably could have done that in an hour and a half max, um, maybe less if I didn't have to, you know, think of every, all the shots through, but uh, went well, went very well. Customer's gonna be happy. I'll get, give him a call and get that out of here yet today. Um, he can get back to work. That's for a backhoe, a drive adapter for, uh, he put a different motor in that was a little bit different. Um, so this is gonna get his pump hook his pump back up to the motor and get him working again. So with that, we'll end here. Um, please check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And like, subscribe, share, stay with us, see what's next. Until next time, get out in your shop, get it done right the first time.